I saw this pop up on Street Easy. The photos were horrible, but I came over and took a look and uh, walked in and called my wife and I was like, get over here, this is, this is the one. I am David Frazier and I am an architectural and interior designer and we're in my apartment in Greenwich Village. What, I, what we loved about it is you know, it was a pre-war, so it had you know, kind of like the cove molding, the picture rail, uh, the original like herringbone floors. It, it's not a big apartment, but everything had a room and a space, so it made it feel bigger. And then of course, like the location was kind of ideal. We sometimes refer to it as country come to town. And what I mean by that is it really is, you know, it's really warm, it's really kind of collected and hopefully curated, but it has a sensibility of, you know, we're both from the South. It has that sensibility, but it's a little bit more tailored and refined, which I think is what makes it feel appropriate for, for Manhattan. We have a lot of a lot of antiques with a lot of patina, you know, some great kind of mid-century pieces. And so I think that that, you know, that kind of mix of things is what makes this apartment feel a little bit more interesting and collected. And I think it's what makes it feel kind of inviting and warm too. Our bedroom when we moved into the apartment, you know, it was it was a great size for for this apartment and, and the neighborhood, but it just was sort of lacking real kind of definition and character and that kind of feeling of, of importance or feeling special. So we decided just to envelop the room in that, that like really rich, warm green. And it's created this like little cocoon and it feels so moody and, and cozy. And it's a real stark contrast to the airiness of the rest of the apartment. I think one of the challenges of living in New York is, you know, it's the lack of space. But I also think it can be a real advantage in, in that you live in a, more, in a more specific way. I think you have to be really thoughtful about what you buy and what you keep because the space is so limited. And, and what, what we have found is that if you don't use it and if you don't love it, it really does kind of become this baggage that you just hold on to. It's this either visual clutter or physical clutter. What we've found is living somewhat minimally. I mean, we have a lot of stuff and a lot of things that we love, but I think it, it is more, more mindful and more thoughtful.